Say what you want about the Kardashians. What you can't deny is that they have set a new standard for beauty, starting trends with everything they do, all the way from their fashion choices to their makeup and lifestyle choices. But time has gone on, and their ever-changing appearances have raised questions about how much of their look is real and how much of it has been cosmetically altered. First up, the family themselves have actually been pretty open about going under the knife. It may come as a surprise to some, but according to the family, they've done it a lot less than people seem to think. Rather, they claim that they owe their close to perfect appearances to great dermatologists, a spectacular glam team, good fashion choices, and some good genes. Regardless, their globally recognized physiques have become a source of a ton of controversy, with every one of them having been accused of having faces and figures that just aren't attainable unless you've got piles and piles of money. Let's start with Kim, who has established herself as the ultimate American beauty icon since Keeping Up With The Kardashians premiered in 2007. Recently, KKW Beauty founder told Allure, I really genuinely care about looking good. I probably care more than 90% of the people on this planet. If you told me that I literally had to eat poop every single day and I would look younger, I might. But despite her honesty about how much her appearance matters to her, Kim has vehemently refused certain plastic surgery rumors over the years. The Skims CEO further denied making any other kind of changes to her face besides Botox, stating that she's never had eyelash extensions, got on her nose done, filled her cheeks, or even her lips. She continued to say that she shied away from cosmetic procedures that would make her unrecognizable. Starting with number eight, but soon after, she was exposed for lying about having nothing but Botox done. Several doctors and leading plastic surgeons came out to weigh in on Kim's changing looks throughout the years, insisting that she has gone under the knife more times than she's willing to let on. In February of 2022, when the reality star turned mogul showed up in New York City, her face looked noticeably different, mainly her newly accentuated cheekbones. According to Beverly Hills plastic surgeon, Dr. Michael Obang, that could have resulted from either implants or fillers. The same doctor added that it was obvious that her face had been touched, even if it was just by minimally invasive procedures, PRP, fillers, and implants. Kim also looked shockingly different when she went to dinner at Craig's in LA with her sister, Courtney. An NYC-based NP, Gaspar Rosario, stated that he could clearly notice the lateral and anterior aspects of her cheeks being a lot fuller and her jawline being a lot narrower. He said that he believed she had gotten fillers to restore the apple in her cheeks. Holistic plastic surgeon Anthony Yoon agreed, stating that he believed she may have gotten an injectable filler like Juvederm Voluma for her cheeks and Restylane for her chin. Then, at 7, let's not forget about her famously enormous derriere. It's completely flat now. One of her closest allies snitched on her, revealing that having all her clothes custom made was becoming too much of a hassle for her and that she'd had enough of her big butt. But Kim's plan wasn't to suck out all the fat at once. The same source said that she'd been doing it gradually because she feared ending up with what she referred to as a pancake butt. The reality star sparked rumors that she had gotten her filler removed, but an insider source revealed that she had simply stopped getting her Brazilian butt lift topped up, saying that she was very much over that look and had stopped getting the fat transfer into her backside so she could let it decrease naturally as she lost weight. Kim had always denied undergoing surgery for her famous bum, and in 2011, even had her backside scanned to prove she didn't have implants. But she never said anything about a BBL, where fat is removed from another area of the body and injected into the bum area. That's something that wouldn't show up on the scan. After that, number six. Enough about Kim. Let's move move on to Chloe and her never-ending plastic surgery rumors. Some people even accused her of getting a whole face transplant, but Chloe continues to state that none of the rumors are true and that the only work she's done is a nose job. She admits to having tried fillers and Botox, but shying away from them altogether after having a bad reaction to both. You can look at some before and after pictures of this Kardashian and be the judge yourself, because it's definitely like looking at a 
different person. Also, at number five, Courtney is perhaps one of the realest looking Kardashians, but she's faced her own share of plastic surgery accusations. But like the other members of her family, she denies most of them, saying that the only one that she's had done is a boob job when she was 22, which she now regrets. The reality star also claims that she doesn't use fillers, shutting down a social media commenter in 2019 who accused her of altering her face. She also denied that she'd ever gotten a butt augmentation in response to the same comment. At number four, Kendall Jenner may not technically be a Kardashian, but she's part of the same family and has been followed by the same rumors as her sisters. She's remained the most mum about whether she's had work done. Maybe that's because she initially used to be against the whole idea, but over the years, she has sparked rumors about getting a boob job and lip injections. She hasn't responded for the most part, and one of the few times she did was in a video shared by Kylie, who shot down all rumors that Kendall had gotten a lip filler. Next up, at number three, we've got the Kardashian Jenner matriarch, Kris Jenner. She's been the most open about her plastic surgery procedures, talking publicly about what she's done before and then later, after skyrocketing to fame on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Kris admitted to getting a boob job back in the 80s, but added that she had gotten it reduced in the early 2010s. She said that she'd had Botox, fillers, and laser done as well, just so she could feel less matronly. In fact, Chris even went under the knife on her reality TV show, getting a neck lift while the cameras rolled in 2011. In 2018, she got a televised earlobe reduction as well. Two, let's start with the infamous lip fillers. She's open about them now, but this wasn't always the case. In 2014, when she came out in front of the cameras with lips three times bigger than they used to be, she laughably denied getting anything done and credited the change to clever makeup techniques. It was a year later that she accepted getting temporary lip fillers because she had always felt insecure about her thin lips, especially after the guy who was one of the first kisses told her he didn't think she'd be a good kisser because of her small lips. Her new lips created a frenzy all over the world and started the infamous Kylie lip challenge that had people using a shot glass or small jar to get lips as big and pouty as the reality TV star and makeup guru. After giving birth to Stormy, Kylie got rid of all her fillers and returned to a more natural look. But in the same year, she was back to her signature pout. This time, she was completely open about her fillers, suggesting that she has no plans to dissolve them again anytime soon. One, what about all the other procedures? Well, according to Kylie, there are no other procedures. First off, when rumors flew about a breast augmentation, she accredited the look to a nifty trick involving the bombshell bra by Victoria's Secret. She could have been telling the truth at the time, but she's posted a lot of pictures in lingerie and swimsuits that aren't that Victoria's Secret bra. Let's move on to the alleged butt implants. The makeup guru has a perfect hourglass shape, but her waist is unnaturally tinier than her breasts and butt, which is what has most people believing she's had some kind of surgery to enhance her backside. Considering how popular BBLs are among the rich and famous, and also considering her sister is famous for having gotten one, it's not really hard to believe. Some of the other procedures people believe she may have gotten include a brow lift, lower eyelid fillers, a nose nose job that can attribute to her drastic nose transformation, nasolabial fillers, and a chin enhancement. Just take a look at pre and post 2013 Kylie Jenner and you'll know whether these rumors are far-fetched or not. And finally, let's talk about the surgery rumors surrounding the youngest member of the clan, Kylie Jenner. This one literally grew up on screen, maturing from a cute preteen to a sultry 18-year-old and now a 25-year-old mom and businesswoman. Woman. Whether it's because of her turbulent relationship or social media antics, her name is almost always on the headlines. Most of the time, it's because of rumors spreading regarding her looks being almost entirely a product of surgery. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think all the rumors are true? Or whether the Kardashian Jenner's looks are all natural? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.